All right. We uh we are live. It is it is Monday. It is 9 p.m. And that means it's time for Monday Night Perry. Uh, today we are playing a little Stardew Valley. It's been a little while since I fired up Stardew, and uh, you know, it felt like it was a uh, felt like it was about time, really. Um, you know, uh, for those who followed along, uh, I am more or less clueless about this game and games like it. Uh, you know, I uh, I've never been a huge gamer. And uh, I've typically uh, typically stuck to like multiplayer games when I was a kid. So it was a lot of like racing games or like GoldenEye, that kind of thing. So uh, a game like Stardew that is distinctly uh, one player in its primary mode, and you know, <laughs> I mean, just you can look right at it and just know it's very different than something I normally play. Hey, Bobby Gilbert in the chat. That's right, Monday Night Perry. We're back, we're back. It's been a big, long weekend full of uh, traveling around and wrestling. And, uh, yeah. Oh, there's there's my cat. That's right, last time I got a cat. No, don't hit him. Oh, no, he's so happy. What a good cat. All right. Um, I mean, I guess maybe I could plant some more plants or something. I don't know. I haven't done that in a while. Might as well. Yay! I picked a potato. That's pretty good. Well, wasn't supposed to cut that down, I don't think. It wasn't ready. Well, I was camping last weekend. No way! Where, uh, where'd you go camping? That's awesome. I haven't been camping in so long. Alright. Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna... Switch to here. Let's switch to. We're gonna we're gonna make a little plot here and. Oh oh, the cat's sleeping in the middle of where I want to garden. That makes sense. Seems like something my cats would do if I allowed them outside. Diamond Lake in White Cloud, Michigan. Oh, that sounds that sounds nice. Well, I hope you had a good time. Uh, the, my, my, my biggest interest when people go camping is uh, what uh, what did you eat? Camping food like rules. So it's one of the things I have the most fun doing when I go camping. All right, let's see what kind of... That's this up. What's this? Ooh, cauliflower seeds. Yeah, let's switch to that. Put a little bit there. Huh? Yeah, put them right there. Good. What's this one? Wood, maple seed. I'm not putting trees here. No, don't need that. Don't need that. All right. <laughs> Mainly potato chips. Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with a nothing wrong with a good potato chip. I mean, there. Now they're plant. Now they're watered. Good. Let me go inside and grab some more of the plants that I have. I know I I need more. What do I have on? Oh, I got some flowers. I think I can sell those or something. I'm still I'm still so bad at this game. Like I really don't understand 90% of it. Oh, am I supposed to give someone their glasses? Did they did someone miss their glasses? Oh, mixed seeds. Yeah, I could use that. That's good. Yeah, let's uh Yeah, good. What do we got here? Sap, clay, decorative bowl. Probably just gonna end up going fishing again. All right. Well, we're gonna call that good enough for now. A letter. Farmer Perry. That's what they call me. Roddy Piper also won his first singles championship in your figure promotion. Hey, you know he deserves it. Guy's a workhorse. I have to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. Really nice little house. However, you might need help. You might need more space someday. That's where I can help. Bring me some raw materials and, a, and pay a fee. I can expand your house. This expansion I offer includes a kitchen. A kitchen. You'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Oh, that's true. I, I will need a kitchen. Hmm. Well, good to know. All right, let's go ahead and throw some more seeds in the ground here.
Yeah, that is a pretty wide mix of seeds. All right, let's uh, water this stuff, and then maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll go fishing or something. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, almost there we go fill that thing back up he defended he def uh oh do, uh wow went over on hikaru shida and bray wyatt your uh your your figure fed is uh wide reaching that's that's pretty good you got a lot of a uh, good variety there uh, maybe i should put more of these uh more of these trees in the ground yeah why not Let's see, what's a good spot for more trees? I gotta, I gotta build that shed at some point. Should I just be like hacking up rocks and trees here like forever so I've got tons of wood? Well, I mean, you know, I have no direction in this game. That's <laughs> 11 a.m., let's go fishing, see if we can maybe make a little money or something. Although, I need, I need this. Nope, that's not what I need. Yes, yes, yes. Cats shouting at me. In the game, not in real life. In real life, the cats are just happy and they're good. A mix of AWWB, Dra Dragon Ball, and NASCAR. Wow, that is a wide-reaching fed. That's impressive. Oh, more flowers I can sell. Oh, yeah. Oh, but now I don't have any empty spots on my... Uh, pack here. Better offload some stuff. Like I said, I pick up this game like once a month maybe, so it takes a little while for me to... Well, see, it shows that I have a bunch of empty spots, so maybe I don't need to get rid of everything, but I will for now. I'll do that. Move that guy. Move the fiber play with the clay, move the potatoes. What is this guy? Oh, I found a diamond. Wow. I'm going to be rich. Get rid of the sap. Uh, we'll put the dandelion up there for now. We'll sell that later. Put the wood up there. We're still collecting wood. Yeah, we're going to fell some trees in a little bit, I think. I think we're going to... Dale Earnhardt Jr. is a two-time world champion. You know, after that series he put out about abandoned raceways, he deserves it. Now he earned it. That 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 series alone earned it for me. All right, checking out, making sure, making sure all my live posts went. <laughs> Sorry, I popped myself with my Instagram post telling everyone I went live. Someone took a picture of me from the locker room at one of the shows this weekend, and I do not look thrilled. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Hey, hey, should I knock this tree down and see if that guy comes back out? Yeah, let's take it down. Was it Joey? No, Joey didn't take the picture, I don't think. I actually don't know who took the picture. Uh, but, but I'm in that locker room, and I do not look thrilled to be there. Uh, Joey Nails' dad was actually the referee for my match on Saturday the first time I met him. That was pretty cool. He was good. Good ref. No complaints. I think I'm still going the right direction here. Uh, I didn't get a chance to wrestle ZPB because ZPB... Uh, had to bail on the booking at the last minute. Uh, he uh, he had to work. Turns out he had no idea he was booked until he saw my promo. <laughs> so he uh, he bailed on the booking, and uh, I wrestled uh, a young trainee from up at Limitless named Stormy Savage. I did win the match though. And then I had my uh, my scramble match on Friday night. Was it a squash match? No, no. 
When you're not on TV, squash matches don't make a ton of sense, you know? It was not a long match, but it wasn't a squash match. Anyway, I got a fish. Anchovy. Wonderful. Um, I had my, my scramble match on uh, Friday in Enfield. And uh, that match was pretty good. I didn't win that match, but I came pretty close. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, had my brain rattled. There was a, a Tower of Doom spot where I... Hey, Hero Botic in the house. Had, uh, had my brain rattled. We did a Tower of Doom, and I was kind of in the middle, suplexing a guy off the top rope with a bunch of other guys. And uh, yeah, uh, turned out uh, they just sent my brain right toward the mat. So not, uh, not ideal, but I was all right. I was knocked around enough to complain, but not enough to actually be, like, you know, hurt. Oh, hooray, more seaweed. I don't care what anyone says. The fishing is exciting in this game. Oh, well, so much for selling the fish today. They've closed up shop. The fish stopped biting, too. All right, well, I'm not just going to stand there forever. I can fish next to him. He probably knows the spot. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. Hey, Graves is here. Good to see you. All right. That's enough. That's enough aimless fishing. Everything I do in this game is aimless. I, uh, as someone who grew up mostly playing, uh, wrestling games, GoldenEye and the occasional racing game or something, and really even then, not playing very often, this type of game is a thousand percent outside my wheelhouse. It doesn't stop me from playing it. Let's, uh, we're going to switch to the axe here in a second. We're going to take down some trees, accumulate a bunch of wood, and see if we can, I don't know, get some work done on the house or on that weird shack that's in the back half of the property here. <sighs> it's just like real life only. In real life, I don't have to fell any trees to get lumber. I just have to drive my 43-year-old truck to Home Depot. <laughs> That's going to be my day tomorrow. Finally out of lumber for my deck. So I got to gotta fill back up again. Soon, soon that project's going to be over, I swear. I spent most of the summer working on it. Oh god, it's getting dark. I'm like that sad Mars rover. Oh god. My, uh, my character's almost out of energy from walking around and fishing, apparently. All right. He's going to need a nap. Better get him home. Oh, hey. My cat needs to come home, too. Look at him taking a nap up here. So far, that's been that's been easily the, uh, the best part of this game, is uh, just suddenly having a cat. Uh, what am I playing tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, oh hey, the cat's in there sleeping. Oh, great, now I have to sleep on the floor because the cat's in the bed. There we go. Yes. Um, so uh, tomorrow, if all goes according to plan, I got a little bit of work on the back end to do. It looks like, I also need to confirm with Mr. Johnny Torres, uh, but it looks like myself and one of the announcer voices of Pro Wrestling Grind, Mr. Johnny Torres, one of my oldest friends in wrestling, uh, we will be uh, we will be live on here uh, watching some. Oh, uh, the kitty's walking around. Watching some Kodai Nozaki and Jet Wee matches, uh, so that uh, 
I can share that out, and some of the fans around here can get familiar with uh, with Jet Wee and with uh, Kodai before they come on in for the next uh, grind show in just a couple of weeks. And I'm pretty psyched. So uh, I will say this: uh, if you're at all a fan of my work or Rip Bison's work, we may or may not be heavily featured in some of the matches that I've chosen to showcase. Um, and uh, if you're a fan of uh, Japanese legend Daisuke Sekimoto, who I got to wrestle for Kaiju Big Battle years ago, uh, he is in one of the matches. Uh, and uh, as is uh, Dynamite Kid Jr., the nephew of the original Dynamite Kid, who went over to Kyushu Pro before getting signed to AEW. Everybody, I'm looking forward to that one. Didn't sleep well last night, and you'll drop early tonight. I, I totally get it. I uh, Last night, I, I crashed at like... 9.30 and uh, woke up again sometime around midnight and then crashed again at like 1.30 and then didn't get up today till like 11 so I totally get it uh, we're old my energy still on? nah I'm good good switch up to the axe finally get to see a full parry match uh yeah uh i've got some good ones chosen uh one of them i actually have to dig off of an old hard drive and throw on youtube technically there's uh the rule at kyushu pro is that we're not supposed to post full matches uh we can share the ones that they post but we don't post full matches i'm gonna make a small exception for a match that i think was pretty amazing uh easily it's it's in my top two if not my top three uh from while i was in japan it is a tag team match it's myself and rip bison the only time we teamed together as mutually assured destruction the whole tour of japan uh and we take on uh mentai kid who was one of our trainers uh and is amazing he was trained uh, at toramon by ultimo dragon and uh, also worked closely with jushin liger he's like a 28 year veteran or something crazy like that uh, it's him and Jet Wee taking on Mutually Assured Destruction. And uh, it's one of, the, one of the matches from our tour in Japan where we just said, to hell with it, let's go crazy out there. And we did. We, uh, we really we worked real hard uh, in that match, and it was a blast. It was, we did more than we needed to, and uh, it was super exciting. I won't spoil too much of it, but I will say uh, at least one wrestler loses an article of clothing, and hilarity ensues. Um, and if the stream tomorrow goes well, uh, if, it, if it, you know, if, it, if, uh, if everything technically goes well, uh, I may do more of these. We're gonna do some other watch-alongs. You know, maybe some of my older matches. Uh, since I have Johnny Torres on, uh, I may very well toward the end. There is a match. Uh, that has both myself and Johnny Torres before he uh, he stopped being an active in-ring competitor. And it's one that he and I are both really proud of. So uh, I, I may I may throw that one on toward the end. Oh boy, I've worn myself completely out of energy. I need to go eat something. Time to walk to somewhere with food because I've yet to I've yet to add the expansion to my home where I have a kitchen, so I can't really cook yet. <laughs> Johnny used to wrestle. Johnny did indeed used to wrestle. He uh, he graduated wrestling school with me. Um, uh, me, Johnny Torres, and uh, Leary, who is uh, the uh, guy who runs Blitzkrieg Pro, all graduated wrestling school together and all had our first match on the same night. It was a battle royal, and we were all in the same match. Uh, I uh, Currently, I'm the only... Or currently, Leary and I are the only two still wrestling. And, and I don't want to spoil anything. I think he said something about this, but... In a couple months, it will just be me. So, I will be the lone remaining in-ring performer from my graduating wrestling class, which is uh, honestly a little bit stressful. Uh, it's a lot to live up to because I really like the people from my graduating class, and it'll just be me now. Yeah, what the heck? Let's have uh, let's have some spaghetti. Good. We 
got to eat the spaghetti. There it is. Let's see if I remember how all this even works. Yes, eat the spaghetti. That energy's coming up. Let's see what else he has. Because I still have some money, but I need more. Did Johnny ever win any world championships? Um, he definitely held a few championships in Maine. Um, a, a large portion of his career, I was uh, I was gone. I was on the other half of the country. Um, I uh, I spent a large part of his time wrestling uh, over in California. So uh, I'm not totally sure. But he'll, uh, assuming everything technically goes okay on the setup, he will be on tomorrow. You'll be able to ask him yourself. Um, you know what? I'm going to have a second helping of spaghetti because that's the kind of guy I am. Uh, yesterday after, uh, I hung out with Herobotic yesterday, uh, among an, a whole bunch of our friends. We went to the, uh, we went to the uh, the old corn maze out here, uh, a New England fall tradition, of course, um, and I uh, had a lovely time, you know, hanging out with uh, with a bunch of friends from college. And uh, afterwards, we all went to Bub's Barbecue and uh, proceeded to eat way too much food. And uh, of course, the perfect follow-up to that is that we all uh, we all went out for ice cream. <laughs> so uh, yeah, today. Uh, Today's been slow going. Let me tell you, I've been uh, I've been recovering best I can. Oh, look at my cat. Hello, cat. Hmm. Uncle Sid would be proud. Yeah, Uncle Sid would be proud. Next, next, we're gonna start an annual softball game. Really make Uncle Sid proud. All right, let's grab that axe and get some more lumber. I have no idea what kind of lumber I need to build the rest of my dumb house here. Yeah, I know, not, not maybe not the most exciting game to stream, but uh it is, uh, is kind of mindless, and that's uh, I need that today. I did legs with Rip earlier, and between that and severe lack of sleep, uh, some folks in the in the chat know I uh, I got home from I got home from my Saturday night booking at about five in the morning Sunday. So we we drove six hours uh, only to then drive six hours back. It was, a, it was a long day. That's right, it is a change of pace for Monster Jam Showdown, for sure. Okay, so far, so good. How much wood is that? 239 pieces of wood. 240. All right, uh, ooh, well, let's go say hi to the cat. Hey, cat. Hey, where are you going? Should I just follow the cat around for a few days and see what the cat gets up to? Yeah, nothing like my cats. They're indoor animals. I don't trust them otherwise. All right, so I'm supposed to find whoever the heck it was. Let's see. Do I have my letters somewhere that I can look into? Someone wrote to me about making my house bigger, and I need to figure out how to do that and then start fishing so I can have some money. Well, let's go back to the house, see what I can figure out. Anyone who's played this game a lot more than me, feel free to tell me what on earth I'm doing wrong. Because it's a lot. Oh, I don't have any mail. What's in here? Gonna say okay and leave that empty. Yeah, let's watch.
watching TV. I still think living off the land has to be a reference to the Epcot ride living with the land. Like they could have called it anything, but they went with one one word off. Hmm. Oh, you, you guys can't read that because of my ticker. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Get your hands on a fishing pole and sell your ca Oh my god, it's telling me to do something I already do. Well, that was not helpful. All right. Well... What if Joey finished Uncle Ripper so I can have Mad win the WCW Tag Team Championships on stream tomorrow night? Is that in the uh, WWE 2K game? Um, if I can fish three carp, be a big help. 90, okay. Yeah, sure. I'll accept that reward. Fishing is like 90% of what I've done in this game. Specifically, you would have us win the WCW Tag Team Championships. Makes sense. That's kind of where the more workhorse matches were anyway. Ooh. Boy, my guy has no energy. I gotta eat something. dark and the fish aren't biting. All right. I better go put my guy to sleep here because uh, it's getting dark and my energy bar is pretty low. <laughs> We're already the Monster Jam World Champion. Hell yeah. That may, that, you know, that tracks. I think that makes sense. I was pretty stoked. Uh, last week, I uh, I have one of those wish list things in the links on my socials, and uh, some unidentified fan uh, hooked me up with a couple new monster truck tank tops. Got a, a retro grave digger design and uh, uh, the uh, the awesome monster truck design from the band Boy Genius. So that was pretty cool. That was a great surprise because I wanted that shirt as soon as they posted it. And uh, this person managed to grab it as a uh, tank top. All right, what is this telling me? All right, one thing at a time, guys. Let's go see if we can fish some carp. Now what? getting together for the flower dance. If you find a partner, you might even want to participate in the dance yourself. Uh, do I have to do the social stuff in this game? Is it important? Who played this game enough to tell me? Someone, someone help me out here. I'm so antisocial in real life that even doing social stuff in the game sounds like daunting to me. I don't know, somehow in my, in my mind this game was a very like solitary existence and that, that felt very nice. That's basically how we live. Unless I'm going to do wrestling stuff, I don't socialize ever with anybody. It's great. I don't see people, I don't talk to people. Uh, Hero Botic and our group of college friends, that's like the second or third social thing I've done in the calendar year. Like I just don't do anything with people. No, I don't want to fish here, I want that. Thank you. All right, here we go. Time to catch some fish. You don't seem antisocial. You'd be surprised. Rip is also very antisocial. 
I think it's why we get along well. Neither of us really cares to be around the other. Like, the reason we can work out together uh, every week is because it's nice. We, we get together, we work out, we don't talk. And then when we're done, I have a protein shake and I get out of there. Little, little, there's a line from Ron Swanson on Parks and Rec where he says something, something to the effect of, one of the best friends I ever had was this guy I never talked to. We still never talk sometimes. A herring! <laughs> this dude opens his shop, I'm gonna make some money. treasure was. Yeah, uh, my, my vlogs and everything, you know, the streams, I'm alone in a room talking to a chat. That's pretty easy to do. Uh, as far as the vlogs go, you know, that's, uh, uh Rip, Rip and I talk about it. We're like, this is, this is work. This is like the, the our job. We see each other. We're, we we don't even refer to each other as friends most of the time. We refer to each other as co-workers. Which, like, admittedly, it's a little bit disingenuous to say that. Like, obviously we're friends or whatever. But, like, I don't know. We don't really... We've hung out, I think, once ever when wrestling... When, when, when it wasn't for a booking or for working out. And it, we went to Monster Jam once, and that was, like, three years ago. I mean, I guess we went to the Hot Wheels tour, too, but that was also, like, three years ago. Those were within a couple months of each other. And even then, it was pretty specifically, like, for the vlog. Like, the same can be said of ZPB. He and I went to, uh... The Eve of Destruction at Lebanon Valley Speedway earlier this year. And I think that is the only time that we have hung out socially outside of like, oh, we have a booking together. New record. I'm either getting really good at fishing or not good at fishing. This is riveting entertainment for everyone. Not good enough. Not good enough, you guys. Well, that was quick. Sardines. All right, let's uh, let's go in and sell this stuff to this dude. See what I get. You and Herobotic, on the other hand, you two seem like you'd cause chaos. I mean, we've we've caused some chaos in our time. All right. Can I sell him stuff? No, I don't want it. No. Okay. Shut. Here we go. Let's see. I'd like to sell him my fish. Yes, I eat the fish. I just want that. Not what I want him. 
buy any fish. So here we go. That's there it is. Yeah, give him that and that. Give him that. Oh, that was worth some. Good. Oh, good. Yeah, good. Good. All right. That cleared out the fish. Got a little money. Let's see whose house. I'm just gonna start going in houses. See who see who lives in different places. Whoa. Just kick that person's trash. What I do? Hello? Hello? No one's home. Hello? Someone up there? No, I'm just wandering people's houses. That seems. I feel like they shouldn't just let you do that in this game. I feel like it. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Maybe not a great idea. But yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow's stream. Um. I've, I've picked out a few choice matches and I have a few backup match ideas in case we uh, in case those end up going very quickly um, but yeah I gotta I gotta confirm with Johnny Torres if I talk to Torres or if something technically isn't working all that well for it then uh, oh hello hmm, Lewis. Surprise machine, okay. I'm learning things now. Not a spirit of goodwill among the townsfolk, me included. Sometimes when you help out others in town, you receive a prize ticket. You can turn them in for rewards. Some special stuff in there. Oh. Oh. What we need is Dizzy Hellfire back in the chat because she knew she knew this game pretty well. She'd be able to tell me what the hell I'm supposed to do at any given time. People will just go after the tickets rather than cultivating a true compassion with their fellow man. Oh, God, it's more social stuff. Ah, oh, why? Just let me be a lonely hermit man. That's where it's at. No gods, no kings, just mortar. No friends, no people, just parry. Should I tell him I'm just in it for the prizes? I'll tell him I'll help. Okay. Yeah, good to know. I shouldn't have gone in this house. That guy was boring. Please do not the parry. Please do not, please do not speak to the parry. He prefers to be left alone. What's this house up here that's all funky and weird? Who's this fella? Hello? Shop upgrade tools. Uh, no, I'm I I don't need to spend that money right now. I like the design of that place though. That's pretty cool. Archaeology office. Wait, when's it say it's open? 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's 2:40 p.m. It should be open. It is open. Do I need to give them? Did I have some rocks I was supposed to give them? Single piece of money. Okay. Oh boy. More social stuff. Yes. Okay, good. Good. It is mine. You could buy it from me. Oh god, now they want something. This is why you don't make friends. Donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find. I mean, I guess. Well. I don't like to give stuff away in a video game. 
Is that selfish? Am I, am I being selfish? I mean, I, I definitely am. What's that? Keeps on farming. Ah, good to know. Alright, I'm getting out of here. This place is not that interesting. Gotta figure out where the carpenter lady is. Who's this? Sorry, dude. That's nice. Her name's Penny. That's really close to Perry. That's all I got, guys. I don't have... I don't... Try the saloon again. Wait, what's this house? Did I go in here? Yeah, let's try this one. Hello? Ooh, TV. Is that dude lifting weights up there? He is. That guy should be my friend. I do that all the time. Beach is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. Wow, this dude does not seem like he would be my friend. Seems like kind of a douchebag. <laughs> hmm. That's a weird place for a TV, right? Am I, am I, is that just me? It's like dragged out to the middle of the room with all the space behind it and a cord running all around. I don't know. I didn't decorate this house, so. Whoa. Whoa, there's so many people. There's this chick with the blue hair. Hey, who are you? I can't, there we go. Not one of these people has something interesting to say. Whoa. Okay, fine. I won't go to your trailer. Jeez. All right, someone just went in here. Nah. I don't like being talked to by by people. Who's this? Who's this girl with the purple hair? Who are you? They make me wear this stupid white dress. Now this chick. This chick gets it. Yeah, okay, okay, Bobby. Who are these people up here? Should I go up here? What's this? Where are you going? Show me around. Oh, no. oh that's uh, that's her bedroom. Yes, I... Sorry. <laughs> hey, guys, what's up? Okay. Meet every week to encourage each other to stay healthy like a support group for unhealthy people? Huh. I have something like that. It's just wrestling. We all just constantly yell at each other for being out of shape. It's not helpful. That girl is definitely goth. I don't know. We definitely have an expert on that in the chat. They could confirm. Where's the purple girl? Where'd, oh, she went up to her room. I can't go bother her. I'm not welcome there. Going into a goth girl's bedroom seems daunting anyway. Have I ever wandered up this way? Oh yeah, there's like the town hall. What's up here? What is this? Oh, they got a telescope. Cool. place is this? That's a goth. Sebastian. I can't wait to see how stupid that dude looks during the flower dance. His words, not mine. I'm not being mean. Those were his words. What a... Wow. Well, who's this over here? You met my mother. She's the town's carpenter. Ah, that's who I'm looking for. T like, tell me more. You're not helping, child. Ugh. Ugh. Not for me, it just sounds fun to see. see your taste in bands. Oh, yeah, sure. Who's this guy? Did I talked to him already? I must have. Hmm. What's this way? 
Oh, second story. Hmm. It's just a lot of bedrooms in here. It's not helpful. Okay, so this is the carpenter lady's house. Is this her? The materials or blueprints my shop is the place you're looking for. It's your business supports the local economy. Okay, good. Help, help, help. Uh, these people are unhelpful. Got to figure out where her shop is. I guess one of these days I'm going to have to bother looking at the map, huh? Instead of just winging it all the time. Go in the saloon and play the video game. What's this guy? Okay. What's that? Well, well, that's a grumpy douchebag. Alright. Who's this down here? Ah. Oh, right. It's a town drunk. I remember her now. I knew someone named Pam. They're famous now. Let's see, what's this one? Is this? Yeah. One life down. I'm so bad at this game. I mean, I'm bad at bad at the game in general, I guess. Time women's champion. <laughs> there's a there's a few that have been like that. Yeah, but yes, my friend who's Pam is a multiple time women's champion. That's true. Oh boy, cheap viewers. Where are my mods? Take that, dorks. Yeah. What now? Uh, I was doing pretty good when I got that weird explodey thingy. Thank you, Bobby Gilbert. All right, well, how about this game? Skull-shaped keel. That's right, I need to find some weird key. Can I play pool? No, guess not. Maybe not. All right. <laughs> uh, wandering on out of here, then. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's late. I got to get back to the... Uh, Back to my shanty. Yeah, I hope 
hopefully the cat's inside. Oh yeah, he's already asleep on the bed. This is a good cat. This game is really generous. Every time I get back to the house it says my progress has been saved. I don't really know that I've made any progress. <laughs> like that seems very, very generous of them. All right, I gotta find the carpenter's shop. bother looking at the map. I am here. That's the general store, community center, question mark. Oh, I haven't gone up there yet. Carpenter shop. Okay, I gotta go up. Oh, they don't open until 9 a.m. Hmm. Well, okay then. I guess, uh, some fishing first so that I've got more money? I don't know. Is that a good plan? But yeah, really long weekend to, to take it beat by beat. I had uh, Friday wrestled uh, down in uh, in Enfield in a, uh, a, a, a very kind fan. Oh, I, I haven't done my toy of the stream yet. We'll do that first. Got a uh, got one of the new uh, one of those the Hot Wheels Bigfoot guys. Just just went tried and true, nice and simple. Just makes me happy to have it nearby. But uh, that, I was reminded to do that because uh, when I got to Blitzkrieg Pro in Enfield, Connecticut, a uh, frequent uh, viewer of the stream who pops in from time to time, uh, Tyler from NH, Tyler from New Hampshire, uh, was there and had a Mint on Card 1990 WCW Galoob Bendem of old Uncle Sid. And that was pretty sick. Like, that was pretty awesome. My, uh, my, my, my run of having uh, fans bring me cool stuff at every show continues. And I got the treasure. What did we get? Oh, a flounder. And coal. Well, okay. I feel like that's... Yeah. Hmm. We'll find out how to get me and Joey mod shields so we can block bots like that. I, I, I may look into it. I may, I may, I may arrange something. We'll see. First, I got to figure out how I'm getting Johnny Torres on the stream tomorrow so that I can show these matches. And then I have to... Oh, the flower dance has begun in the forest. I'm supposed to go to the flower dance? 9 a.m. Why is there a dance going? One more fish, then we'll sell them off and we'll go bug the carpenter. Come on. All right, screw it. We'll go in and we'll sell this guy our fish now. It's locked. It's supposed to be open. Man, that guy sucks. All right. Well, let's go find the carpenter. Carpenter's house. Is the shop just up behind it here? Oh, I 
somebody camping out, huh? Let's go see what they're up to. Hmm. Yeah, they're not home. Yeah. Have to bug them later. look at the map again and see where the hell I'm supposed to go. I hate looking. It's such a dude thing. I just hate looking at maps. They think they're so smart. Alright, I am here, but I need to go, like, here. Aha, so I just wasn't far enough over. Got it. Alright. Well, continuing on then. Johnny has Discord. Send him my send him a link to my server, and you guys could do it that way. Uh, I am gonna definitely have him on via video. Um, we may we may be using like a you know the the G chat meeting function. I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Oh, who is this funky looking dude? Linus. Don't know you well enough to trust you. Well, good thinking. I'm not necessarily trustworthy. People got to be careful the first time they meet me. Adventurers Guild. Proven adventurers only. Well, that might not be me. <laughs> well, there's a busted bridge. Can't go anywhere from there. Can't go here. Alright, let's check the map again. <laughs> okay, I've gone too far now. The carpenter shop is there. Is it just their house? somewhere but it still looks like their house had to sprint to that mute button to take care of that sneeze holy cow okay so it is the carpenter's shop all right well i thought it was their home i have to go up here is this the shop it's locked. Oh, are they all at the stupid dance? These punks. Yeah, everyone's at the dance. I don't want to go to some dance. Ugh. All right, I'm going back to my house to chop down trees. Like, I didn't want to go to dances when I was a kid in school. Why do I want to do it in a video game now? This is supposed to be escapism. I'm, I'm barely comfortable for people to see me while my entrance music plays, let alone dancing in front of people. Jeez. <laughs> You're choking on popcorn earlier in your stream. <laughs> I'll be careful. Oh, I got some plants here. Better water them. That's right, I forgot I put some plants in the ground. Well, that makes me feel good about my planting stuff here. Water some of these shrubs. Water the cat. Come here, buddy. You're gonna hate it. Yeah. <laughs> Slept right through it. That's a good cat. Am I supposed to name the cat in this game? That seems kind of silly. My real life cats barely answer to their names. And even then, I'm being kind of generous. They don't kind of answer nothing. All right, let's fell some trees.
Joey Nails is tonight. Must be uh must be getting some rest after starting his new uh starting his new gig. I assume, I don't actually know. Yeah, it was kind of a kind of a bummer not to uh, not to wrestle ZPB this weekend, but it was it was kind of funny. He actually uh, got a hold of me on Friday and was like, "Yeah, I uh, I didn't know I was booked." Classic ZPB. All right. Well, I'm like right on the edge of passing out from exhaustion, so I get in the old house here. Maybe watch a little TV, wind down for the evening. Yeah, let's check the weather report. Clear and sunny all day. It's been clear and sunny most days in this game. What about the fortune teller? Luck is not on my side. I don't know what... Okay. Did I need luck? Ah, cooking. New mouth-watering recipe from a secret cookbook. This week's dish, radish salad. Sounds like a fresh peppery radish. Hmm. Alright, I learned how to cook a thing. See? See, I'm still making good good use of the evening. I think he was scared of getting a parry go right. You know, uh, I don't think I've actually ever given ZPB the parry go round. Um, yeah, I don't think so. I I definitely uh, had a conversation with Mortar after the uh, the six man tag over at uh, over at Grind because he was insisting that he had definitely taken the parry go round before, um, and I didn't think he had. And then after after he took it in the match, he goes, no, I definitely took that before. I'm still not convinced that he has. Like, I might have to go back and, like, look through my match list and maybe pull up some old matches, but I really don't think... I think, I think, he's, I think he's gaslighting me. All right, let's water these plants, first of all. No, let's go see that carpenter now that there's no dumb dance going on. We'll go fish, get some money, trade in our stuff at the dude's shop, and then then we'll go find the carpenter. That's the CTE talking. I it could very well be. I, I mean, you know, if you ask Stone Cold, CTE is not real apparently. Everyone's doing him dirty with that quote from from the Vince doc because that's not really what he was saying. Everyone took the first line where he said, uh, I'm not a CTE guy, I don't believe in that. And they just left it at that. He went on to explain he doesn't think wrestlers should be getting CTE because, it, and, and this is the, the quote that was more important. He said, if you're hitting your head every single match, you're doing something wrong. That is correct. That part is right. But everyone, everyone latched onto that first part of the quote because it was kind of funny to make a meme about it and... Yeah, now everyone's vilifying him. If you ask Mayu Iwatani, necks aren't real. I uh, I know Mayu a little bit. We've uh, we've crossed paths at a few shows. Interestingly, I always see that she watches my Instagram story, so she keeps up on what old Pear Bear's doing. Yep, her uh. uh the very first time that she and uh, Maki Ito both came to uh, America was right before the world shut down, the last WrestleMania in New Jersey. They were here for uh, DDT ran a show as part of WrestleMania weekend, and they were here for it. And I was wrestling in the same venue right after their show for Kaiju Big Battle. 
So when they got done with their meet and greet with everyone, they came to the back, and all of us kaiju guys were already were already uh, back in the locker room getting changed. And I uh, I happened to be in the corner where uh, Mayu and uh, Maki's stuff was. So they came over and chatted a little bit and uh, became my friends on Instagram later that day. I was very surprised because I didn't at the time I didn't know their names, but they found me. Wait, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm thinking. Yeah, no, I'm thinking Miyu Yamashita. You're right. Sorry, I've. Uh, it's honestly like Mayu and Miyu. That's what threw me. You're absolutely right. I'm thinking of Miyu Yamashita. Uh, Mayu also follows me, but I think only on Twitter, and that's just professional courtesy. <laughs> We've we've not met. All right, let's uh yeah, there you go. There's that. There's that. Go and the big guy. Yeah, that one was worth some money. Now we're talking. All right, bail out of here. Get out of there, because now I can go find that carpenter and see about what I need to do to expand my house. I'm not sure I even need to expand the house, but I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> Yeah, if you hear me sniffling a little, I'm still recovering from a long weekend in cars with uh, the dry air of the air conditioner blowing at my face. I don't know how I've done this for so many years. Taking more neck bumps than Brian Danielson and is still going. I mean, you know, that's that's Japanese wrestling. There's a lot of neck bumps. That's uh that's not the shop then. This must be the shop. Hello. Yep, yeah, aha. Increase the size of your house and add a new kitchen. It will cost 10,000 G, and you'll also need to provide me 450 pieces of wood. I am, but I don't have that kind of money. Now, what else you got? Construct farm buildings. Oh, that's what I need. It has this four coop dwelling in. Oh, sick. I can get some chickens. Let's see what other kind they have. Whoa. Oh, it's a little well. Holy cow, guys. I'm going to be the one who ends Brian's career. Uh, I mean, <laughs> my guess is probably not. I, uh, I don't imagine I'm going to cross paths with Brian Danielson. But uh, who knows? You never know. You never know we refined old Pear Bear. Hey, here's the goth kid. What's up? Hmm. Apparently she doesn't like her dad's cooking. Is that common among young goth girls? They just don't like their dad's cooking? where they're building that terrible corporation that's part of the story in this game. I really don't understand what's going on in this game. There's like 5,000 stories going on at once and I'm not really interested in any of them. Oh boy, green algae. Finally. Just what I've been looking for. Do -do. I'm gonna go back to my house because as I recall there's like a trunk where I can just drop all my crap and then someone will come take it in the morning and I get money because I need 10,000 G's apparently scream till I explode if you ever showed up in AEW 
it's not completely out of the realm of possibility, but I have not done nearly the kind of legwork I need to do in order to make it happen. But uh, again, not entirely out of the realm of possibility. All right, let's uh, just throw that in there, throw that in there. No, wait, not the wood. I want that. Throw that in there, throw that in there, throw that in there. That can go. Oh, that can go. That can go. That can go. That can go. This can go. I was supposed to donate that to the museum, apparently. It's very Indiana Jones part of the story. You know, the Outrunners rule, huh? I, like, I don't follow the product that closely, but, like, I see their stuff pop up, and I'm like, this is my jam. Okay, good. Yeah. Sure. Sure, sure. Full up. Here we go. We'll we'll drop the wood here. That'll help. That's a double. That. Oh no, that's not a double. Hmm. What do I not need for the moment? I don't need that. That's what it was. I knew there was something. All right. Let's go drop all that stuff in there and see what happens. Did I get everything? I guess that's everything. I don't want to place that decoration out. You know what? I'm also just going to put my decorative bowl out. There's no reason I have to live like a savage in this house. Okay. That can go right there. Yep, that's lovely. And the bowl... Has to go somewhere. It can go right there on the floor. The cat can drink from it. I guess. I don't know. No, we'll go back in a minute. All right, good. Let's get out of here. Go do something else. 10.15. Wow. Time flies. All right, let's water these things again. All right. Still nowhere near the wood we need, I don't think. I think we need like 600. I'm gonna go chop down some more trees. At least I can do that part. It's gonna take me a long time to get the kind of money I need here. Let's see, bring back up the topic of Dale's Lost Speedway series. Oh yeah, it led to the revival of North Wilkesboro. But did it really? That is awesome. That's so cool. I, I didn't know that. I did really enjoy that series though. One of the only things I bothered to watch on that peacock. Well, there was a book that just came out of this tree. Why was there a book in the tree? Okay, I gotta know what this is. What is this? Woodcutter's Weekly Skill Book. Huh. Nifty. That sounds like a book we would legitimately own in this house. scared a bunch of pollinators out of that tree. Sorry, guys. Yep, 
Yes, cat. I hear you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, there you go. God, that cat really is like my real life cats. Just makes a bunch of noise, always needs attention, and gets it because I'm a sucker for my cats. Anyone who follows my Instagram sees that on the stories pretty much every day. Oh, Grizzly, Grizzly Crew coming in hot. I just saw these guys uh, a couple days ago. At Blitzkrieg Pro. Came and hung out. They saw me. They saw me in the scramble. Big uh big qualifier for the new belt at Blitzkrieg. They're gonna have a new uh scramble championship. It was a big qualifier match, and I I did not win, but um I'm told by the powers that be at Blitzkrieg that that's not the end of that not the end of that for me. There may be another opportunity, so We'll have to stay tuned. But that's, you know, that's one of the things about a scramble, you know? It doesn't matter who's the biggest, who's the baddest, who's the best. So many bodies flying around, you know? Travis Huckabee, Travis Huckabee in the chat. Holy crap. Thank you, Grizz. I appreciate it. Yes, uh, there's going to be a new belt. The Scramble Championship. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to say it, but I'll say it here because not that many people watch. They are also... Oh, oh I'm almost completely exhausted. Got to get back to the house. Oh, warm myself out. Oh, boy. Old Pear Bear is moving slow now. Um, yeah, Travis Huckabee in the chat. I'm, uh, I'm not supposed to say anything, but they are also getting a new uh, Blitzkrieg Bedlam Championship. They're replacing the old belt. They have a new one coming. Looks real nice. All right, come on, get in that house. Time to get some sleep. See, the cat knows. The cat's already on the bed. Yeah, I definitely need to go to sleep for the night. Day 25 of spring. Wow, I made it 25 days. Oh, that's all the stuff I dumped in there. Okay, cool. I can I can make some money. Look at that. That was that's the most money I've made in a day. I should have been dumping stuff in that uh that trunk all along. <laughs> Water the plants. So you guys hope I can come back that way soon. Everyone up here misses you too and hopes you can come back soon. Uh, you are you are talked about in virtually every locker room I've been in for in the last month, so you are you are definitely missed, Travis. Boy, I still have very little energy. I should, uh, maybe I should spend a little of that newly acquired money to get some food. I don't know. I'm going to dump a bunch of crap in here. Perry section next. Hey, I'm all about my whole monster truck section. Everybody show up holding uh, toy monster trucks in the air. Yeah, the track, the, the the Huckabee section rule. There have been some cool sections at some of the shows that we've done out here. There was a whole beef section at a grind show one time. Uh, there's definitely been a thick daddy section for Andy Brown. Like fans out this way rule like they get they get very invested in all of us and it's really cool go back up here and eat something because my energy is low and then I can go cut down trees. There we go. It's locked. Opens at noon. Oh, come on. You're killing me. Yeah, well, I can go in the fish shop and buy some stew. Can put in a cage, cage deathmatch between Lemmy Killmeister and Kid Rock. Oh, definitely Lemmy. Holy crap. 
I thought we were going in a different direction with that uh, with that question, and I, I had an answer all ready to go. All right, Grizz. Have a good one. Thanks for popping in. Always happy to see you. All right, let's wander into the old shop here. Have some trout soup. That sounds pretty good. Take it outside. Don't want to eat it in front of them. Seems awkward. Yeah, look at that energy bar. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's head home and cut down some damn trees. completely absurd to me that this game has decided I somehow have to be social. I really don't appreciate it. this stuff. Clear out a whole section here. so terrible at this game since I have an actual homestead. Yeah, I think at this point I probably would too. I, I certainly wouldn't. There's... There's a few public figures I wouldn't mind watching lose a fight. And he definitely makes the list. I think I think the part that makes that one so appealing is you know he thinks he would win. And that's that makes it much better when he doesn't. Let's switch over to the old axe. It looks like uh, in April, Travis will appreciate this, it looks like a big portion of the grind roster is taking a group field trip to Monster Jam out in Boston. Uh, Andy Brown uh, indulged a little bit after, uh, after the most recent grind and was asking me about monster trucks and kind of lost his mind when I told him how cheap tickets are. Please do. Thanks for popping in, Travis. It's always good to see you, bud. Probably get about one more tree down before my energy bar is too low here. and get rid of all these rocks too. Just live in a barren wasteland, I guess. My energy's 
definitely getting too low. I either need to go find food or I need to do it again. Now I don't have to go as far. I can go just to the saloon and get something. Spaghetti last time. This time I got tons of money, so like, do all kinds of. Oh, should I have to keep that? These are all like recipes. Lucky lunch. Whoa, did I just get a free lunch? I did get a free lunch. Well, that's cool. There it is. What? I wasn't trying to give you anything. Ah, oh, pain in the butt. Ugh. People are the worst. Give me the damn spaghetti again. Now I can go chop down some trees. Messages from people who I'm pretty sure are in the chat right now. All right, gotta take some more trees down before the day runs out. Here comes the axe. Here comes the smasher. The demolition. Walking disaster. And maybe I'll have to play the uh, WWF Legends uh, mod game again. Bobby, were you around when I was playing that before? The uh, N64 No Mercy mod that turned the entire game into like this amazing 80s WWF Legends game. It was pretty dope. I might have to do that on a stream again soon. I believe there's been updates, so I might have to I might have to download the patches. Let's go empty all my stuff into that thing and then get the night's sleep and start chopping again. Cause Papa needs more money. those. That can go, that can go. This can go, this can go. I think that's good. Let's go drop some stuff off in here. I love that the cat's always there and sleeping already. Cracks me up. Oh yeah, I definitely, I think, I think that's enough wood for the house renovation. Good. All right. Call that okay. Wait, what was what was, what was this? Uh, what's this then? Am I, am I able to redecorate my house? 
Hmm. Yeah, I'll worry about that later. There's a little bit of coin. Good. Sounds like it's raining out. Yep, big rainy day. Hey, at least I don't have to water the plants. That's good. Oh, oh my mom sent me cookies. Hell yeah, free cookies. Gotta love that. All right, let's fill up the watering can. Whoa, we got a whole we got a whole card in the chat from uh, from Bobby. Kyle Bush versus R Truth. Joey Nails versus Delmi Exo. Darren McCarty versus Lord White. Semi main monster truck sumo match. Jim Kohler versus Perry Von Vicious. Ah, oh, God, I gotta lose the semi main. <laughs> and then let me kid rock. There we go. Fill up that watering can. Good. We'll let all these trees grow. In the meantime, gotta hack. Well. No, I'm not going to hack all those down. I can probably switch to the side and go through all this stuff. Oh yeah, there's going to be some stuff down here for sure. Yeah, that'll, that'll get me some money. with that log. That log rules. The event would be called Bobby Mania. You know, we have a, we have a Bobby out here, a wrestler named Bobby Orlando. If you're not familiar with him, you should be. He rules. He's one of my all-time favorites. That's it. Oh, and you were there when I played it. Okay, last time I played Legends Mod, gave Mr. Fuji the World Championship, and well-deserved. Mr. Fuji also rules. But yeah, Bobby Orlando, one of, one of the greats. If you've not seen him, you should definitely look him up. He has a fantastic TikTok where he uses, uh, he uses different objects as a basketball. Uh, and if that makes no sense to you, you, you I guess you just, you just gotta look him up. I believe a lot of it's on his Instagram, too, but... He's become sort of a minor celebrity over there. I'm still a little bit bummed that Fuji's actual finisher isn't in that game because his real finisher rules that like weird running senton thing like you don't see moves like that anymore it was so chaotic
everyone else just hear that haunted, creepy noise that comes up during the rain here? I'm not a big fan of that noise. It's spooky. I mean, tis the season, right? Cookies. Yes, I eat the cookies. Good. More energy. All right, let's clear some of this rocks, some of these rocks or whatever. Where's the pickaxe? stone wall with all these rocks really decorate the old yard well, apparently I do I've got some new ideas to sleep on that's what it says anyway did did he call it the bonsai because I know um uh, Yokozuna used the bonsai drop Yokozuna my when when we got to uh, Japan uh, there was a British wrestler over there, Jake Reed, who's very young. And uh, when he was asked by the Japanese who his favorite Japanese wrestler was, he didn't watch any Japanese wrestling, but he loved classic WWF. So he answered Yokozuna, <laughs> which is great, because yes, the character was Japanese, but the wrestler was Samoan and had been raised in California. So not a great answer to the Japanese when they ask you your favorite Japanese wrestler. All right, low on energy again. Time to go dump all this stuff in that big case and I don't know, go go find some food or something. All right, boom, boom, boom. Um, I decided I'm not gonna plant those seeds. Just gonna, all of everything must go. Clip you sent me after you played it. Vince called it the bonsai. Oh, okay. Well, he he was the owner of the company. You would know what they decided to call it, I suppose. Hmm. Okay. Let's go grab some food in the saloon. again. Someday I'm going to get sick of spaghetti. Mm -hmm. yeah, that didn't really do for my energy what I'd hoped it would do, but that's okay. We'll just we'll we'll do something that's low energy. We'll go fishing. Maybe right off the bridge. Why not? Hey, who are you? Hmm. Well, I tried to talk to someone, see if they were interesting. That's my mistake. Don't meet new people. They're not interesting. There we go.
Vince was a good announcer, and his, his voice has become pretty iconic. The one issue I had was that he always just sounded like Jerry Seinfeld. The boyhood dream has come true. What's the deal with airport security? It's all kind of the same voice, you know? I mean, I guess once you hear it, it's hard to unhear. Otherwise, you'd never know. Two inch fish? Holy crap. Holy carp. Sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> Whoa. Man, there's a lot of fish here today. That's gotta be Kane. Yeah, that's definitely up there. Uh, the the one at the end of when Shawn Michaels won the belt from Brett at Mania. The boyhood dream has come true. That's definitely way up there too. Joey Nails is here. He subscribed at tier one. Wait, is that an old thing? Is Joey Nails actually here? I feel like Joey Nails already subscribed. Not dead, I was asleep. I, I figured you were probably resting after uh, the... Is today the first day at the new job? That's gotta be Joey Nails. Alright, that's plenty of fish to catch for a day. Yeah, I, uh, I continued my streak with always being gifted toys at shows. I got a... I mentioned earlier I got a 1990s still on the card. Galoob, Psycho Sid, WCW, uh, Bendy figure. And then, uh, and then on Saturday when I saw Joey Nails, he had a handful of Monster Jam minis for me, and it sounds like I'll be getting some more soon. Uh, Joey Nails had the unfortunate incident. He sent me a picture. He uh, got some got some Monster Jam minis, only uh, only to get almost all doubles. It was like three or four of the same truck. I want to say it was like the um, Mohawk Warrior or something like that. See if the cat already went to bed. Oh yeah, cat's in here sleeping by the fireplace. Good cat. I'm home for the week. Oh yeah, that's right. You were you were off somewhere. Where where are you actually? You're you're like you've got a hotel room somewhere. You were uh you're practicing wrestling moves on the pillows, as I recall. Caribou Maine, and I hate it. <laughs> but you're not having fun in the bustling metropolis of Caribou Maine? Why, why on earth are you in Caribou Maine? Uh, like, I would say, like, oh, you must be there camping, but you're in a hotel room. So, like, what on earth could you be doing there? Yo, 
EOT training. Oh, and the guys are assholes. Well, I mean, yeah. That's, uh, you know, you're... You're probably, what, a decade younger than everyone else there? That'll happen. all the stone. I'm still just adding stuff because I need to save so much damn money here. Might have to go do some fishing at that one good spot on that bridge again because that seemed to that did pretty okay. Notice it didn't say I wasn't strong enough, because I'm definitely strong enough. Like, I could take care of it. It'd be fine. I've got big, strong hands. Never done, never drove manual, and they were yelling at me while I was trying to learn. Ah, uh, I mean, driving, driving manual is very, very tough. I get it. Uh, but once you've learned it, it, uh, you know, it's... It's one of those things that just becomes muscle memory. I learned I learned on a manual and uh, didn't, yeah, I drove manual for the first like two years I had a car and then never again until three years ago when I got the, 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 the rabbit pickup and it's a manual. And I showed up to the place to check it out, see if I wanted to buy it, hopped in and it was like I'd never stopped. And it had been maybe over 20 years since I'd driven a manual at that point. So old. Anyway, does that make you feel better, Joey Nails? Telling you how I'm old? But Joey Nails, you get bullied everywhere, man. The manual dump truck? Yo, okay, listen. Hear me out. That rules. Man, I gotta, I gotta change it so the bed of my truck dumps out. I want a dump truck. Pretty sick. I assume this is all just you being a big Perry Von Vicious fan. Can't get your hands on a monster truck, so you took a job driving a dump truck. I get it. I appreciate it. Honestly, though, the image of you driving a dump truck is pretty hilarious. Because you're, you know, just, just, just a little guy. And then there's this... You're driving a giant dump truck, and I'm driving a tiny little Volkswagen Rabbit pickup. That's, uh... You know, sometimes the world really just gives you easy jokes. It's pretty great. Besides, if any of them are mean to you, just, you know, inform them that you're a pro wrestler and then kick their asses. I mean, maybe not while you're being trained for a new job. I guess that's not great advice. You know, I'm supposed to be the responsible adult in this conversation. Admittedly, I've been the responsible adult in most conversations since I was, like, probably 17. I've surrounded myself with a lot of dumb people. Uh, present company excluded. You're all doing great. Easy target for dummies who are ignorant and dumb. Yo, you just described the... I don't want to... I, I, up, I upload these later to YouTube, so I don't want to say it. But, uh... Yeah, you know a certain uh, a certain place that you, uh, you frequent that is full of those people. I had to work with one of them this weekend. I really shouldn't say this stuff because I'm going to... Ah, they don't watch. They don't watch the show. They don't watch the product. 
Joey Nails, how did you like my match on Saturday? so that we have more stuff to make us some money. I think of a place full of idiots, but I won't stay. I mean, pretty much every place is full of idiots. Legit, though, how was it working with the Hoochie Daddy? Um, um, of all the matches I've had, it was one of them. Again, I don't want to. I don't want to say anything unkind on a video I'm going to put up on YouTube. You know, that seems like not a very nice thing to do. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say he, uh, he, he worked very hard to listen to me and try his best. I, uh, I tried to keep things pretty simple, and it may not have been enough. That's right, Joey Nails' dad refereed my match. Called it right down the middle. And then flexed with me at the end. We flexed for the crowd. It was very popular. It was, you know, the, the, the ladies love Joey Nails' his dad. Joey Nails, you spent some time by the merch table. Uh, Johnny Torres was joking that uh, me and Delmi are a perfect tag team because Delmi's the god queen and I'm the merch god. Uh, you got to be right there, Joey Nails. How was the merch moving? Merch was a flow in that night. Yeah, that's right. People couldn't get enough human monster truck merch. I'm uh, I'm running low on stuff. Like uh, I gotta I gotta get another shirt design done. I gotta order more shirts. My uh, my black T-shirt with the uh, the Perry go round uh, with, with like the sort of big crazy me sold the last one of those. Uh, I'm on my second printing of the vicious with the monster truck, and that's nearly out. Uh, I have uh, one mad shirt left. Well, I have a, a few of them, but it's one design. Our, our mad, yeah. I, I got I got to restock merch like crazy, like big time. Uh, thankfully, when I do my paper goods, my uh, my trading cards, my stickers, uh, my eight by tens, you know that stuff I stock up a ton because they're cheap. But boy, some of the stuff's running low. The uh, the ever popular, the ever popular Perry plushie. Uh, this one's the one that's being kept here for my records. Oh, Got to get the hair out of the way. Vicious. Uh, this one's the one for my collection. I've only got two of those left. Those flew. Those flew. So I'm down to just two of those. And if I reorder them, I got to order them from Mexico. That's where the lady is. So it's it's slow getting them filled back up. Can't wait to get enough bookings to have a bunch of merch. Hey, uh, you know, it, 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 it comes before you know it, and then you are then you find yourself, uh, you're always wondering what's going to be popular. Oh, I'm starting to feel exhausted. I'd better go eat something. It's just like real life. That's how I get through Disney. I just go 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 till I feel exhausted and then it's churro time baby I did spaghetti before pizza's too expensive oh pancakes let's go that's very affordable in fact I'm gonna get two helpings 
Oh, what a great idea. Oh, I should have pancakes. Oh, I might have breakfast for dinner one of these nights. Make my protein pancakes and just slather them with frickin' peanut butter. Ah, ah, I'm so hungry. Well, when I'm done here, I've got uh, I've got a little bit of... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Would you buy a Joey Nails plushie? Yeah, Bobby. Would you buy a Joey Nails plushie? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna save that other one, and I'm gonna do a little more fishing. Was it Bobby Gilbert who said that uh, he needs he needs a Perry plushie? Well, you'd better act fast, because I've only got two. Uh, it actually got a little frantic. A bunch of people bought them and then forgot to have them signed. But they really didn't want to walk through the crowd at the audience. So they were just, we were sort of playing football with the plushies. They would chuck me a couple and I would sign them and then chuck them back. I'll tell you, that, that lady had an arm. And she could catch, too. One more fish before the night's over. Let's go. Hey, soggy newspaper. The game is mocking me. Plus, she is so fucking adorable. Uh, I, I used to have a different one. The, uh, the current one is a very... Uh, Sort of like South Park character style. The one I had before that was made to look like the old WWF uh, buddies. And uh, yeah, this is the only one that remains. And I'm not going through this company again because they were terrible to work with. But uh, it's the only one left. And uh, it's, it's here for the archives. Soggy newspaper. They're, I, I swear they're just, the game is mocking me. Oh gosh, it's eleven o'clock. I gotta I gotta start wrapping this stream up, you guys. All right, let's let's get let's get my guy back home and get him to sleep first. Put the stuff in that little box and make some money. And then we gotta then we gotta be shipping out because I still gotta I still gotta get the tech ready for tomorrow's stream. And uh, yeah, I still I still gotta I got one more meal today, one more meal got my my gaijin breakfast sitting out in the in the kitchen right now the, the japan classic we were just a uh, bowl of rice bunch of tuna wait, wait not the pancakes give me that back and i'm not giving them the soggy newspaper either that's for me So Delmi told me I was the only one at the seminar she wasn't judging, hence why she is now my big set. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Almost made up for the food I had to eat to harvest all that stuff. Man, being a farmer's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get out in the yard and find the cat, and then we're gonna then we're gonna call it. There, there he is. What a good cat! All right, crew, thank you guys for hanging out while I uh, while I aimlessly wandered my way through Stardew Valley again. Uh, if everything goes well, if everything gets set up right, I'll be here tomorrow night with Johnny uh, Torres, and we're gonna be doing uh, some commentary over some matches with Kodai Nozaki and Jet Wee. And uh, if it doesn't, who knows? Maybe I'll just be playing Monster Jam. But you'll uh, you'll have to tune in again tomorrow night to find out. So 9 p.m. right here at twitch.tv slash Thank you all for hanging out, and I will catch you all tomorrow.